It's Wednesday, May 29th, and I have ranted several times over the past couple of months, I guess it was, about Mother Nature and how she strikes and kills lots of people, and that Mother Nature is the only force on Earth that we humans have no way to control. And most of the time I was talking about flooding. But Mother Nature has many weapons that she can use to turn upon humans and affect their lives in extremely serious ways. When we're dealing with Mother Nature, we become victims, and many lose our lives, and many are left stranded in various situations where there is no possible help from any of the agencies that are capable of helping. Because Mother Nature's destruction is not one or two. It usually involves thousands. And the latest episode in her life is in Papaya, New Guinea, where thousands of people have been ordered to evacuate Papaya following a massive landslide. Right now, as many as 2,000 people are feared to have been buried in that disaster that rattled the mountainous Engar region, and that happened on Friday, and rescuers are struggling to reach such a remote part of what is already one of Asia's poorest nations. We in the United States live a life of great safety, I'll call it safe, and a life where many of us have the wherewithal to do whatever we want. But there are many nations that the people living there do not have those benefits. And Papaya New Guinea is one of those places. And the locals have no choice in the middle of this mountainous region but to dig through the mountains side with whatever tools they have to attempt to find their brethren. The area continues to pose an extreme risk to the rest of the population, officials said. The rocks are continuing to fall, and the soil, the soil is exposed to constant increased pressure. I don't know what that means. Does that mean that the soil can t- to turn? to sand or something? It's not clear what caused the landslide. That's according to the the geologists that went over there and looked at the place. So the geologists are saying maybe rainfall had altered the material contents of the land, of the bedrock, so that the bedrock has now been weakened, and that weakened bedrock allows steep hillsides to roll downhill. Why? Why are these people trapped in such a horrible situation? Why is anybody living in that area of the world? And they've been there for hundreds of years, so it's not a new situation. There's no monumental building that was going on that loosened the soil or something. There was no construction that could have possibly affected the lives of over the over 2,000, maybe 5,000, though 10,000 people are affected by this. But there's got to be a lot of people affected by this if there's 2,000 missing and they're searching for them. And is the world prepared to help? I guess we are. But how can we help? This is a desolate area. There's no roads. There's no airport nearby. What can we possibly build? bring into that country to help them. I mean, I don't think that there's any type of heavy equipment that you could use to scour a mountainside. It's got to be done by hand. 
It's got to be done by hand. And unfortunately, the people who have to do it are poor. They don't have the equipment to search for their comrades. They have shovels. And probably many of them are digging with their hands to find relatives and friends in the rubble. Just think about that. In their own lives to find the lives of their relatives and friends. And there's over 2,000 people that are missing. And I don't know exactly what the total population of that area is. 2,000 might be 10%. It might be 5% of the population. So you got relatives and friends out on the mountainside searching for these people. And as far as I know, no nation has come to its aid. The UN certainly hasn't sent anybody over there to help. And maybe that's because there's no place to send them. It's a futile situation. Now, I don't know much about New Guinea, but it's one of the poorest nations in the world. And while it's a poor nation, they still deserve help. But where is that help going to come from? Certainly, we want to help, I'm sure. But can we afford to put our populations at risk digging through the rubble of a landslide? I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I look at this. It's a monumental tragedy with no solution in my mind. Because once this thing gets cleared up, and who knows how long that will take, to get New Guinea back in some kind of shape so that life can move on. And what is the UN doing? What have they done? Possibly nothing. And I can't blame them because they don't know what to do either. And this is a dangerous situation. This is not an easy fix. So I leave you with that this morning. Mother Nature has struck again, and we, on the human side, have very little to counteract our activities. So I feel sorry for the people of New Guinea. And I hope that this thing comes to what I will call a decent solution, which will be a horrible one anyhow. So I leave you with that. Another part of the world struck down by Mother Nature. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.